In a runoff election, traditionally the base turns out and t overall turnout drops. Instead, in Mississippi last night, Thad Cochran, the establishment candidate, wins. Turnout overall goes up. Look at the vote margins there. He wins Peter Hamby by 6,300 votes. There is no question. We don't have a debate this morning. Thad Cochran is the Republican nominee for Senate in Mississippi, beating a Tea Party challenger because African-American Democrats turned out in this primary. Uh, Chris McDaniel, let's listen to Chris McDaniel. Uh, let's call this a guy who uh, maybe skipped charm school. He lost the race, he's not happy, and he lashes out. But there is something a bit strange. There is something a bit unusual about a Republican primary that's decided by liberal Democrats. He says so much for principle there, but it's allowed by the rules. Uh, if you don't want Democrats voting in your primary, then go to the state legislature and change the rules. McCoch Cochran, I mean, did nothing wrong here, but... Yep, them's the rules. <laughs> and then they totally... Uh, you know, to use a cliche, disrupted how Mississippi politics right. is run in this runoff. The, you have to give a ton of credit to the Cochran team yep. for what they did in this runoff. It was And the outside striking. interest, too. And the, the Chamber of Commerce, other people came in yes. with a lot oh. of money, expanded the field. Uh -huh. And a lot of people are talking about that Brett Favre ad that the Chamber right. of Commerce uh, ran. Right. Look, uh, I think all of us were surprised. If you talk to Cochran people in the week running up to this, they thought they were still in the game. I got a call last night with about 20% in from a ch source of the chamber who said, we're going to win this thing. Um, but you're right about African-American voters. Look, I think turnout crept up across the board. Uh, uh, the Cochran people say that. But look at Hines County, right to the west of Jackson. Uh, you know, that's a 60% African-American county, uh, and Thad increased his vote margin there by 7,000 yeah. votes, and that's a great indicator of and, what happened. And so the, the question is, he needed these votes he, to, yes. to win. The question is, now he's the Republican nominee, he's the overwhelming favorite to keep this Senate seat in Republican hands. What does he do? Does he say thank you and forget? Or might this be a turning point? Might you have an elder statesman Republican senator come back to Washington? Mississippi has the highest percentage of African-American voters in the country. Uh, look around in Alabama, in South Carolina, elsewhere in the South, these Republican states where African-Americans are often left out. Really. Would Thad Cochran come back and tell his Republican leadership, let's have an open conversation about, say, voting rights? Yeah, you know, possibly so. I mean, because, and, and that's kind of how he ran this campaign, and, and, cer and certainly the way uh, he sounded during his victory speech. Right. This was about all Mississippians. Uh, when he was running ads in African American newspapers, he talked about uh, uh, money that had gone to uh, historically black colleges and universities. So perhaps he could do that. He could have a partner uh, in somebody like Rand Paul, who's talked about restoring uh, voting rights to felons. Uh, so possibly, but it doesn't seem like that's where the Republican Cochran, Party is yeah, right now. Cochran's never been a spotlight seeker, but I think it would actually would yeah. be pretty cool. There's, a, there's an o opportunity like here, yeah. opportunity yeah. here, whether to just not have this, I needed your votes, thank you very much, and forget about it, mm -hmm. uh, but to come back to Washington and God forbid, an yeah. actual competition, an actual conversation uh, for all voters across the country would be a good thing.